What's up, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? I'm doing all right, and welcome to the Stud Poppy Podcast. So today, we are about to get into the best app and web graphic design um, app or, uh, you know, graphic design website that is free and paid. So let's get into the video. So, today, um, we are getting into, hello, one second guys, but for some reason, my cami is acting really special, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> so, um, today we are about to get into this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, to the channel so you can make sure that you can get all of the perks and stuff that I will be dropping here on this channel this channel is a reaction channel this is my main channel I will be branching off and um, well I have already branched off into several of the channels like 14 key TV we have two other podcast channels um, that's where I do more entertainment stuff you know this channel is more of just me having fun my main channel you know, um, I get to discuss, you know, every and anything on this channel. That's what I do on here. Every and anything that I want. So today, um, someone asked me on Reddit, like, what is the best uh, free editing app? This is for YouTube videos. You can edit YouTube videos on this. You can edit pictures on here. And that's just the name of few. You can do a lot of promo stuff on here, marketing, you name it. But today, we are only going to focus on YouTube thumbnails. And I'm going to show y'all how to do those fire-ass thumbnails. Um, and also, what you'll need is background remover, okay? And um, I'm going to go here so y'all can see. Let me pull it up here so I can see. Um, and let's get into so back. I love background remover. Okay. All right. And um, it's called remove.bg. So I believe they have an app as well. Um, remove.bg. Okay. You can do this on your phone. And you can also do this on um, online as well, okay? So, we're going to go back to Canva, and we're going to create a design, okay? So, I'm going to make this big here. Hopefully, y'all can see everything, all right? And we're going to type in YouTube Thumbnail. In my next video, I might do um, YouTube channel art, so, you know, but we about to whip up a good little thumbnail, you feel me? Matter of fact, this will be the thumbnail for this video, so y'all will see this before anything, okay? So, I'm about to show y'all how to get real funky. You can do your own way of how you want to do it, but this is my way, okay? So, I'm going to go here, right, and um, usually I don't like to choose um, already pre-made because I like my stuff to be authentic. So, what we're going to do is look for crazy YouTube um, thumbnail background. And I'm going to make this short and sweet so it ain't going to be like crazy or you know, take too, too long. At least I'm going to try not to make it long. Okay. All right. So we will, yeah, we're going to use this one. All right. Um, and mm, I want to get something. Um, okay. Yeah. We're going to use this one. Like I said, we're going to keep it simple, sweetie. We're going to keep it simple, sweet tea. All right. Okay. All right. Hit that download button. He say, boom. All right. 
So, uh, let's see here. All right. So we're going to upload that photo. We're going to do just like this. Boom. Drop. Bow, bow. All right. Okay. Boom. We're going to let it load up. Do what do. Click that. Bang. All right. So. Going to do it like this. Stretch that thing out. And I kind of want to do a little transparency. I don't want it so dark. So we're going to do it like that. Boom. And we might pull it out here. So we have that little part that was all the way down there. We're going to stretch it all the way over here. Boom. All right. There we go. All right. So this is how you, you know, we're going to make it five as hell. Okay. We're going to add this car in here. We're going to flip the position. So let me see. Flip. And we want this car going in the other direction. Okay. Bang. You know what I'm saying? Boom. All right. Boom. Bow. Wow. All right. Boom. We already got it done. You know what I'm saying? We almost 50% ready. We almost 50% ready. Okay. So let me see if I got a photo of myself. Um, okay. Hmm. Yeah. So we're going to use the photo of myself. I'm going to flip this. Flip. Boom. All right, we're going to put me behind the car. Like, y'all going to see what I do with this. All right. Let me see. Stretch it out a little bit. Boom. All right. Y'all I'm talking about. All right. So, let's see. We could take the position. And we're going to take it back. Uh, and then backwards one more time. Now, y'all see. I'm behind it. Boom. All right. Now, I know y'all like, what the heck? Like, that was just neat how she just took herself and put it back. All right. So, what we going to do is, is that um, we're going to find um, this. There we go. Boom. All right. Bang. Bang. All right. We're just going to pull me up like that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to do too much. Too, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. All right. And we're going to uh, position this to go back, I think, one. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to make this car a little, a little smaller, okay? All right. And we might take me down just a little bit so to make it look realistic. You know what I'm saying? Bow. All right, boom. All right, so we already got that done. So, you know, we want to might we might want to change this background here. So what I'm gonna do is click that. Let me see if I can. I might have to. There we go. All right, so I took that out of there. Boom. All right, and y'all see, that was just a little something to show y'all what y'all can do with it. You know what I'm saying? But. We're going to keep it simple over here. All right? So. Let me see. Boom. And we're going to do it like that. And then we're going to find some popping text. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to go outside the app unless you want to. You can go outside the app and do all that extra. But I'm going to keep it simple over here for y'all today. How to make and then fire thumbnails okay um, and usually what I tell people is make sure you have it on caps how to make fire thumbnails okay boom all right bang bang chicka wang wang all right boom all right, and we're gonna make this fire, okay? We're gonna make it fire, all right? So, some people might do something different than what I do, you know what I'm saying? 
but I'm just keeping it simple for you guys, okay? All right, so we're going to change this text color to white. No, white. All right, there we go. And um, we go to effects, right? And this is how you, you know, kind of mess with what you got. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You got it highlighted. Bang, bang. You can make it thick. I'm going to make it a little thick, thick. You know what I'm saying? That offset, we're going to turn it down a little bit. All right, and we're going to change that color on the inside. I want it. Let me see. Nah, that don't look. Mm. Let's see. White. Okay. Then we're going to go here for the text color. We're going to change that. And let me see. Because it's loading kind of slow, so we ain't going to do too many colors. Okay, we already got that. We're going to do this, okay, and then we're going to change the font. Um, usually what I like to use is something, let me see if they got banger font in here, B-A-G. There we go. I love banger font. It's the best font to me. Um, we're going to blow this up a little bit. Um, now what we going to do is, let me see. Put a space in between it and do it like that. All right, we're going to try to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, now we got to fix the effects on it because it look a little weird. Um, maybe it's the offset. You know what I'm saying? We don't know how we want it. Okay, let's see what direction we want this to be all right so we may let me see we may tweak with um the colors a little bit let me see okay so we're gonna go to this orange maybe fire thumbnails okay boom all right now this might look a little off you know what I'm saying? So let me see if I can let me see if I can do just a shadow. Yeah, there we go. It looks more professional like that. Um, we're going to make this a little bit bigger. We're just going to make it bigger. You know, bang. All right. Boom. Tap that twice. All right. Now. This is where it get a little juicy, okay? Now, we're going to find some fire, but it got to be, like, high-quality fire, okay? Uh, so, I'm going to say, uh, HD fire YouTube thumbnail. Let's see what we can get here. See if it give us fire. Okay. Um, let me see. I just need fire. HD fire. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. I think it is ten eighty p. Okay. And we about to get it, we about to get it crinacking, okay? Crinacking. Alright? So, I'm going to make it a little different because of the simple fact that, let me see, let's save this image. Alright, now y'all see what we just did, right? We saved the image. Okay. Boom. Uh... We're going to hit downloads. Make sure it's going to the right folder. Hit save. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, there we go. Hit remove background. So we got to wait for the page to load back up. Boom, for the doom, for them. All right. Skip it, skip it. What we're going to do is drop that up in here. Like that, like so. It should give us some high quality five. 
All right, there we go. You know what I'm saying? That's all we needed right there. Download that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even gonna tweak with it. Because I told y'all I want this video to be easy, simple, and sweet for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Easy, simple, and sweet. Easy, simple, and sweet. All right, we're going back to Canva. All right, we're going to pop this on up in there. So go ahead, drop. Boom. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Now, most of the time, I don't do my thumbnails like this because there's other YouTubers that do all this. I like mine to just be, like, authentic or whatever you call it. So, all right, let's go. All right. So... We're going to do fire, and we're going to stretch this bit out. Um, it's not giving what it's supposed to give, but it's all right. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be all right, because we about to get it together, okay? And let's see if we can just do it like that, all right? All right, here. Okay, so position. We want to pull that backwards like once or twice. Then what we're going to do is we probably do something like that. You know what I'm saying? We might do it like this. You know what I'm saying? But because I don't like how it's giving what it's giving. You know what I'm saying? I don't like how it's giving what it's giving. So what I'm going to do is, is do it like this. Okay? I'm going to delete that up out of here. And we're going to find a different type of fire. You know what I'm saying? Because that fire ain't giving what it's supposed to give. Okay? We need HD. Um... Let's go back here to fire. We might wind up using this one, but you know what? I'm going to, let me see if I can type in fire, HD, photos, fire, HD, photos, okay. Um... All right, and then go to images. It take a little while for it to load up because I got a lot going on right now on this PC. All right, so we go over to, oh, we might have to type in transparent. So we ain't got to do all that, you know, background remover type of situation. All right, we didn't found it. We didn't found some, all right, so um, I like this one, but I need a 1920, uh, 1920 by 1080, okay, so, yeah, alright, so, let's, let's get into this fire here, okay, alright, found it. I like this one. It's giving what it's supposed to give here. Okay. Say, let's hope it's actually transparent and not a white background. Say, we'll know once we put it into Canva. We go back here to our design spot. Boom. Drop that up in there. Okay, there we go. Because sometimes it be tweaking. All right, so we're going to close this out. And we're going to close the other thing with Canva because it's obviously loading very, very slow. And hopefully y'all can see me and everything's right. Let me see. Okay, so y'all can see me. All right. All right. So there we go. Boom. We got the blue fire. All right, so what we gonna do is, 
we're going to do that. And I think I have to pull it down right. Oh, no. Like that. Boom. Bang. Okay, then we change the position. We move it back to boom. Um, and then what we can do is uh, we can edit the file. Let me see if it'll let me without having to move it. Okay, we ain't gonna do too much. We just gonna what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all how to like um, highlight certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to do is, let me see, I think it's edit image, um, shadows, that's what we're looking for, and I think it's, it may be drop, let me see, see all, that's what we're going to do, okay? Um, this is almost the end of the video. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure y'all commenting. Make sure y'all subscribe. So y'all can get all of this good content. Okay. Um, it's taking a little while for it to do what it do. It's all good. Okay. Let me see. Here. Make sure y'all seeing me. And y'all seeing it. Sometimes it starts to tweak out and I don't understand. Um, okay, there we go. Boom, boom. All right. Bang. All right, we want to do, I think it's drop shot out or it might be glow. I'm going to try glow. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to try today. We're going to try glow. If it clicks it. It's, it's acting real weird right now. Um, come on now. Glow. There we go. Laptop trying to act a little weird. Okay, that's probably weird. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, we got a little glow going on. Let me. Turn my brightness back up because I need my brightness so I can see. All right. Um, what we're going to do is we're about to add this glow. Um, so what we're going to do is try to edit the glow. If it gives me enough. Let's see if it let me get into the controls here. Because uh, sometimes this Canva goes a little slow when you got, I got other stuff running in the background, you know, OBS. So it may take a little second. We got to give it a little second to load up and do what it does. Let's see. We're going to turn the size up. I want to get it to about a 10 if I can. Um, so, i just show y'all how to do this. And you can also do this with the car too. But we just going to do it with um, the, my photo right now. If it lets me, like I told y'all, sometimes it took out. All right, that's a little too much glow on it. It's a little too much of a glow, so I'm going to take it down just a little bit. I'm going to take it down just a little bit, all right? So about a 12, okay? Um, so we got our glow. Okay, we got our glow. Now we're just waiting on it to kind of do its thing, load up, whatever it got to do. I think I need to turn some of these off. I'm about to remove my Grammarly real quick. Because I'll be knowing what be making stuff go slow. So I probably should have did this before the video, but it's all right. So y'all know, y'all can learn from my mistakes. Make sure you turn off all your daggone... Uh, little thing of majiggas that you may have running in the background um because it'll slow down your process and you don't want nothing to slow down your process for real so um there we go so we should be good now 
Should be able to do stuff. Let's see. Yeah, we can add the blurs now. All right, as y'all see. So, see. See what it's telling me? It's all right, though. We're going to still do what we got to do. We about to edit this thing. It got me messed up, okay? All right. So we're gonna go to we're gonna go to drop, and then we're gonna go to bang. We're gonna see what the offset look like. Boom. Oh, it's giving me life on this. I like it. I love it. You know, take it down a little bit. We're gonna take this off of black, add white. All right, and let's see if we can see our angle or whatever. I can't really see with white, but I can see the glow. Okay, so it's a bottom right. I need top right. There we go. Okay, now I can kind of see. Y'all see that little... Y'all see it? You know what I'm saying? So we turn down. Let me see. Let's go. Okay, y'all. Let me see how much blur I want. All right. So we can actually add a color in here. Let's see. Red. Yeah, because you want something that you can actually see. Um, let me see. Where that, where that blue at? Try to, or orange or something. We want to kind of like match our little theme or whatever. So let's see. I don't know if it'll. Okay, orange. There we go. Boom. All right. Go back to edit. Okay. Hopefully it let us go back to what we were doing. All right. Let me see. Boom. Okay. We need to go back a couple. Okay. Whoa. Okay, maybe I need to put the picture back in. I'm going to delete that one out and go back and go find the photo again. Because sometimes you will have issues. It's not perfect. Nothing is perfect, but we're going to work it on out. We're going to work it on out. Okay? Boom. All right? We're going to try to make this big enough to where we, it looks like we're pointing directly at it. Boom. All right, we're going to edit the image. This time, we're going to do it right. All right, we got shadows. Okay? Shadows. Boom. I think it's, um... Glow, and what we want to do is use uh, I think it may be white, okay? So, white, yep, there we go. And let's see how transparent we want to make that thing. We want to make it any, all right? So, I turned the transparency all the way up, and this is blurred. I don't want it blurred, I really want y'all to be able to see. And then we're gonna take that size up, boom. Okay, y'all getting it, y'all getting it, y'all see? Okay, boom, all right, bow, okay. There we go. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing for the car. We're gonna edit. And um, we're gonna go to shadows. We're gonna use glow. Okay. Boom. Tap it again. We're gonna use um let me see. We're gonna use something that'll stand out on this car. I think it will be black. It it it's gonna have to be black because of you know, so we're gonna see. Y'all see it, y'all see it, okay. We don't want it too transparent. We want y'all to be able to see that thing. All right. Now we can blur it if we want. You know, make it 
like a hydroglyphic type of situation, which we might do that, you know. Yeah, we're going to put that orange on that thing like that. Make the size a little bit bigger. Boom. All right. Bang. All right. And that's how you can make a fire thumbnail. I'm going to go ahead and download this. Okay. And you see we didn't pay for anything or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably didn't think I knew how to do this, but I... Man, I got you too, bro. I got y'all. So if y'all want me to actually start doing thumbnails like this, just to catch y'all eye a little bit more, I can. I just be trying to get the videos out to y'all. It takes much longer, as y'all see, like 10 or 20 minutes longer after each video to do this. But I usually just uh, use like, um, you can also use vid.iq's uh, thumbnail maker where you just take a snapshot of, you know, something in the video put a couple words on there, throw it on there, uh, take something like what I did, add a car or whatever to it, and boom, bow, bow. You can do the same thing with that. Um, you just won't be able to add no backgrounds and stuff. So this is a great way. Um, it said, I'm waiting on my, it said, okay. It said my download completed, so. Oh, it did, okay. Bang, so. That's how you can make you a fire as thumbnail, y'all. Uh, like I said, uh, hold up, because it be tweaking. Make sure y'all hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're going up 2022. Y'all know what it is, man. Should be a stuff poppy with the stuff poppy podcast. And I'll holla. Peace.